So let's just take a look at what's under this menu for just a moment now. You'll see we've got a couple of different options here. We can choose to sync our settings, but first let's take a look at what settings are being synced. So you can control exactly what's synced and what's not. So go ahead and click this little menu item right here and Adobe's preferences, or Photoshop's preferences rather, will pop right open. And straight from the factory, all of these checkboxes are turned on. So all of these different presets and settings are being synced to the Creative Cloud when I trigger the sync. Doesn't happen automatically. So we're talking about all of my preferences, the way I've got all this stuff set up in this dialog box, all of my actions, brushes, swatches, styles, gradients, custom shapes, patterns, contours, and tool presets. If the settings that you're syncing differ from what is already on the Creative Cloud, then Photoshop is going to ask you, what do you want me to do? Do you want to overwrite the ones that are on the Creative Cloud with the ones you're syncing right now? Or do you want to not overwrite them? What would you like to do? So straight from the factory, when conflicts occur is set to always ask. And it's probably good to leave that set as it is. That way you can determine what to do on a situational basis. So if you don't want any of these things synced, all you have to do is turn off the checkbox. And that's all there is to it. And you also get information of when your last sync was. I'll go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to open a document here. I'm going to switch over to Bridge real quick. And I'm going to open one document so that I can show you what the window looks like. And we'll go ahead and use one of my favorite things that I experienced in Italy. And that is tagliatella pasta with chingali mm -hmm. sauce on it, which is wild boar, and it was so good. So anyway, I opened that image just to show you that when you have a document open in Photoshop, there's another way that you can sync. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it. It's a teeny tiny little icon at the very bottom of the screen this guy right here. So that is a sync settings icon that you can just click and you can sync your settings right there without having to go up to the Photoshop menu or edit on a PC or go into Photoshop's preferences to do that. So if you click this little button right here, you can sync your settings. So if we give that a click, I get a little message and it's uh, tells me when my last sync was and I haven't synced on this machine so that's why nothing is there and if I wanted to sync my settings then I could just click sync settings right now so we could do that and usually it gives you a little tiny little status bar there we go so it's bringing down all of my presets to this machine so that is super super handy you could do that before, but you had to do it manually. So I would, when I had to work on different machines, I would keep my settings and stuff on a little thumbnail drive, flat little flash drive, and you could pop it in to another machine. But this is, this is much, much easier. And so now we've got a conflict, okay? So Photoshop's asking me, do I want to keep the local settings or do I want to keep the remote? So I'm going to keep the remote settings. 